You know the whole like don't air your dirty laundry thing? That is going out the window, dude, because it is bad and I'm about ready to show you. Ah! People, I'm going crazy. So I'm gonna have a whole new system here. Report to the dance floor right this minute. Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Mac Nelson's. I am stoked for the video today. Do you want to know why? Because, well, you are about to see. You know the whole like, don't air your dirty laundry thing? That is going out the window, dude, because it is bad and I'm about ready to show you. There is a reason why I'm doing this laundry makeover and the reason is this. Ah! Guys, I have not touched this laundry room for two days. This is what happens in two days. It's been two days, not kidding you. And I'm just done, I'm done with it. This hasn't had a makeover since we moved in about five years ago. This was the very first room I did because I knew it had to be like, you know, you have to have a system, people. When you got 16 kids, you have to have a system. So this was literally the first room I did. I got it all in order so that we could get our laundry done and it looks a little disheveled now. So here's what I have that is working. I love my shelf here that holds laundry. So this is like, as I get it out, as I hang it up, I put it up there and it just is way easy for me. But what I don't like about this system is that kids don't know what is theirs. So they kind of just pull it off whatever and then if it falls, they just leave it there and it's just, anyway, I need to have some kind of better labeling system. Now a while ago, I used to have, when we very first moved here, I did this labeling system like on each of the hangers, I did a color and they knew what their color was and so they could grab it. Bad system, don't do that system, no, no. I have another system in mind that I am really excited about. And so also, another thing that I love is I've got this huge countertop here. You wouldn't know it's huge because it's completely covered. Look, this is, this is my pet peeve, okay? Under here, as you can see, yes, there's clothes here, but look, it's on top of all of my hard work of folding. And so kids, a lot of times they'll do their own laundry, which is great, but they're like, oh, the dryer's full of clothes that aren't mine, so let me just throw them all over here on the counter. <laughs> right, and it all ends up on my piles, or second option, kids will be like, oh, mom, where's my Nike Pros for cheer? And they come in and they literally, boom, and this goes here. These are clean clothes that used to be in my dryer two days ago. And somebody thought it was a great idea to just throw them on the counter unfolded. And then another somebody thought it was a great idea to throw them on the floor as they looked for their clothes. And then guess what happens? If I don't come in here, you know, if dad or someone else comes in here to help, they're like, oh, all these clothes on the floor, they must be dirty. So let's put them back in the dirty clothes. People, I'm going crazy. I'm done, I'm done. Okay, on to another thing that I like. I do like that I have this fold down ironing board, I like that. I like this little thing up here, this little caddy up here, but right now it's just messy. I have decorations here. You know, you just, you don't put decorations on like what little space you have for your organization. So I will definitely be taking off those decorations, but I will kind of like re-up this, re-up the rug, re-up my system here, re-up my labeling. Like as you can see, I used to have these little labels on here and they used to have these little stickers on them that says like, whites and whatever, eh, it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna have a whole new system here. I have been brainstorming people to try to figure this out because if anyone can figure out how to run a laundry room, it is the mother of 16 kids and I am up to the challenge. So at the end of this video, you will see, I will have solved all of the mysteries that have ever existed when it comes to laundry, somehow. Even though for the past 27 years I haven't solved it, I will solve it by the time we get to the end of this video. All right guys, here we go cleaning up the laundry room. And yes, it is gonna take me a couple days, so you might see a few outfit changes, because it's gonna take me a minute, but I'm gonna get it. <sighs> Wish me luck. Another thing, guys, this door is like one of those swing back and forth doors. The problem is it either swings into my dryer or it swings out, which is also annoying because it hits people as they walk by. So we're gonna do something different about this. Bridger had a great idea. Stay tuned for that. Good idea, Bridger. Now do you wish you wouldn't have given me such a good idea? <laughs> here's the shoes that everyone's been looking for. I love what you find when you look in your laundry. Oh, you're such a big boy. Um, it's questionable. Yeah. 
some people. Oh, this down like here. Mm -hmm. I got my last one. Let's throw it as high as you can. Tell the camera, say, I'm going to nap now. I'm um, no, not. Say, I'm going, I am not. Say, I'm going to take a nap now. No. Why? I just can't. You must take a nap. My this all fishy. You want to see them at the door? I don't want to see them at the store. I want you to go take a nap. But it's just so cool. They are so cool. We'll see them after you wake up, okay? Okay, say night night. Okay, so while my mom is putting Ledger down, me and Amy decided we're gonna help her clean up this laundry room. They're gonna put all of these away and then I'm going to go shopping for all of the fun stuff to go in here and we're going to get busy. I'm there isn't any such a change in here. I'm talking like wallpaper, new rag, new baskets, everything, new washers. But new washer users. You'll see what that means. So oh, that we do our own laundry, because I already do my own laundry. Because I don't trust Let's give her a clap. Let's give her a clap. Woo! But you'll see at the new system I'm gonna put into place because this room needs a new system. Yes. You'll see. I'm gonna do the reveal for all the kids after they get all their clothes out of here. I'm not gonna let them see it until it's done. So, at that point, once I do the reveal, I will tell them the new system and how it's gonna work. So, are you excited for that point? Yeah. Yeah. We me really too. need some new system. Yes. New system. Like, the system is gonna be awesome. Finally, after 27 years, I will have a great laundry system. Finger and toe. I've got Elsie, Presley, Delaney, I'm gonna hand them their clothes, we're gonna put them away, let's go. Okay, who's this? Mine, Presley. Okay, kid, who's this? Oh. I'm gonna go through all these cupboards and drawers. I am going to wallpaper and I'm going to change out my door that you guys saw that they took down yesterday. I'm gonna get that up so that I can close it off so that my little eyes don't see all the fun changes happening in here. And then we'll be ready for the rebuild. Clean, clean slate tomorrow morning. So, see you then. 
Good morning, second day now. It's a little echoey in here with everything gone out, but I'm still working on laundry. Hey, we still do laundry even though we're doing a room makeover, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get the rest of this laundry done, get it out of here, and get going on the wallpaper. Afraid to step outside and see the world for what it is. No, spending all my time with people that I barely know. You may have thought that that was Guys, we are on what is this day three? Ha! Huh, like I was up till 11 30 last night, and finally I'm like, no, I'm done. I still have to be a good mom, right? Like that's most important. So, anyway, back on it, finishing up the wallpaper today, and hopefully today I'll finish and show the kids. I stayed up till midnight, woke up at 5.30. I am done. Are you guys ready? Yes! First of all, can we all appreciate the barn door? Yes! yes. yes. So right. Yes. Okay, now why do you think we have a barn door? It's because this used to open, if you remember, and it would always hit what? Me. Oh. <laughs> it always and the washer. It would hit the washer. The washer like, yes, and it would bang, and it would bang the door, and yes, so. And Luke would also hide behind it and scare you. So, are you guys ready to see what I've been working on? It has yes. been so much work. Now, I know this isn't as exciting as like a room makeover, a closet makeover, but let me tell you why it's exciting. Because it helps you be able to keep your closets beautiful, right? And your clothes. It's what you wear every day, and it's how we are going to stay organized in it. And we are going to create a new system. Say that word. Hallelujah. Right? Hallelujah. Well, you can all say hallelujah too. That's great too. Say system. System. Yes. And I will tell you what the system is after yes. you see it. Okay, everyone walk closer. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everyone close your eyes. All right, I'm going to open the door. Are you ready? Look. Three. So you see our barn door. We have our Iron. lovely ironing board and sink, yes. And our hand soap and sanitizer, and this is the cleaner. And then this is the important part. Are you ready? We still have our sewing machine, which is important. But do you see all these bins right here? Yes. Okay, so these bins are for you on your laundry day. They're no longer going to be filled by mom. I'm no longer doing your laundry. 
will repeat. I no longer am doing any of your laundry. What about Ledger's and Beckham's? Yes, Ledger's yes. and Beckham's. I will help Mr. B, but he can even help me. Like he will, he will be mostly in charge of it. So this is how it's gonna work. So here's the days of the week, okay? On the day that you're by, that is the day that you need to do your laundry. And if you don't, you're done. You're done. No but this is, this is why. If you don't, you won't have any clean clothes. And you so, don't want to be dirty. Yeah, you don't want to be dirty. So listen up. This is how it's going to work. On your laundry day, you get all the laundry out of your laundry basket. Raise your hand if you have a dirty clothes basket in your room. Do you have one in your room? Or in your closet? Perfect. Do you have one in your closet? I don't have one in the closet. Okay, so we need to make sure everybody has one in their room. Do you have one, Luke? Okay, so we need to get a laundry bin in your room because no longer are you gonna put your laundry basket like in common areas because you're not gonna join your laundry anymore with Delaney or with Elsie's or with Paisley. You're all gonna have your own laundry. That way, you won't lose socks, Miss Delaney. You won't lose your special shirts because only you will be washing your own special shirts and you'll make sure that they are washed, dried, and put away on your day. Now, here's some big no-no's. Do not leave them in the washer overnight because they will stink really bad. Yeah, they have to be transferred, okay? Mm -hmm. And number two, when they are dry, get them out quickly because you know why? You'll hardly even have to iron your clothes. If you get them out quickly and you fling them out, if they're warm still, they are like they've been ironed if you, like, if you get them out fast. If you leave them in there after they're done, they will get all crinkly and crunchy and well, really wrinkly. And I really don't want you to have to iron much, okay? If there is something you need to iron, if you're a little, you need to come and ask mom for help. If you're a middle, let me know that you're ironing. If you're big, then just know, always turn off the iron and put it away. Now, this is another thing. These right here are dividers, okay? So if you have your stuff hanging, you put your divider in front of all your stuff. That way if someone comes in, you know, if it's someone else's laundry day or whatever and something's still hanging here, they can be like, oh, maybe you forgot your shirt yesterday is hanging here and then maybe can come and grab it. And we won't get laundry mixed up because that's some of our, a lot of our fights, right? Something ends up in one of your rooms and you wear it and the other person's like, that's mine. Like, well, it was in my room and I'm like, that's I don't sister. care, you know it's mine. Uh, I don't care because it was in my room and it's been there for two weeks. And so that's just like a big conversation, you guys gotta. Why are you looking at me? Hey, I'm just doing this to the camera. The Not you. The to be hard. Not you. Uh -huh. Everybody looked at me. Actually, for some reason, oh, your damn. closet is like a magnet. It really does. A lot of things end up no. in your closet. Now we'll know because everybody is responsible for their own clothes. Raise your hand if you're responsible for your own clothes. Perfect. Okay, Everybody now, a little bit of information. Over here, we have laundry soap, laundry pods, and bleach, okay? If you are a little, you come over here and you get this. Let me show you how to come over here and get it. Walk it over to there. Perfect. Now listen, if you're a little, raise your hand if you're a little. Boom, boom. Okay, you guys just take the lid off and get out a laundry pot. That is what you use for your laundry. You do not use this, the liquid, okay? And that, what you'll do is you'll open it, you'll put all your laundry in, and you'll put it in and close it. Now, are you allowed to use bleach? No. No. Bleach is only for if they're pure white, and if you tell mom, and I help you. Because if you spill bleach on the carpet, the carpet will be ruined. If you spill bleach on your shirt, your shirt will be ruined. I just got the stuff off of Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Now, dryer sheets are right here. They can be put in here, but really what makes your clothes really smelly good is the scent booster. Mm -hmm. These do not go in the dryer. I only say that because Delaney just barely put a whole handful in the dryer the other day. They go I in the wash. Wait, what do they do if they're in the dryer? They, they just melt really in there and they just don't work. Yeah, they're supposed to get wet and turn in kind of a solution like lotion. Yeah. And they make your clothes smell yeah. good, and, and they make them it. soft. They so, so this is the scent booster. Literally, you only need this much. At our house, we're only going to use this much. Got it? Yeah. Okay. It's like Got one it. scoop. You throw it in, makes it smell good. Got now, it. if you have stains, I'm use like four of those scoops. If you have stains, this is the stain remover up here. Okay, you're going to spray it directly on your stains. If you have a lot of real dirty clothes, like you've played really hard and there's lots of dirt ground in, this is the stain remover right here. You take a scoop of that and you put it in the washer. All of this stuff goes in the washer. The only thing of all the stuff I've mentioned that goes in the dryer is what? Dryer sheets. Dryer sheets. Not the beads. No, oh. the dryer balls right there. Yes, or 
if you have stuff that's gonna be like kind of clingy and staticky, you use the dryer balls, okay? And then fabric softener, you know what? Mom just is gonna use that on your sheets and stuff like that, okay? Yes. If you're like a middle or like older, mm -hmm. do we like do we use just the laundry soap? No, you and Delaney Basically should still use that. Here's my thoughts on that. You can probably use the laundry soap, but let me help you the first few times so you can see how high it goes. Because inside of here, let me show you, come here real fast. See inside of here? Look right here, inside of here. See right here? You're supposed to just fill it up to the Yeah, I know. I've, I've washed my clothes. Okay, perfect. Well, that's all. So you pull it forward, do it the first line, and then you just make sure that it's done dripping before you set the drawer. Because I don't want to drip all down the front. Okay, now, next we have a trash bin and we have lint bins. Does anyone know about a lint? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yes. where is the lint brought Can I get to? some right now? So here's the lint bin, and we have lint bins that have been hammered. But see how much lint is in there? If it gets too full, it won't dry. If it gets too full, it won't dry, and it's actually a fire hazard. Yeah, it's held on the dryer, though. There's so oh. much still in But no, every single batch, you're supposed to change the laundry. Don't wait till it says, because by then it's really, really bad. It'll only tell you once it's this thick. It'll be like this thick, like you can make socks out of the stuff. So make sure that you literally just take it off every time and throw it away and then start your load of dry. Now, next we have labels down here. This is not for your guys' clothes. It is only for Beckham and Ledger's clothes and bath towels and moms and dads and stuff like that. But I want you guys to keep your guys' separate because I think it will really be better. Okay, so this is another thing to talk about. Here is a little bit to know about clothes. Do you remember the other day when we had a new pink shirt and we washed it and Luke's shirt that he loves from that dance group Jabberwocky. turned pink. Jabberwocky that turned pink. Okay, yeah, so if something is new, you should only wash it with colors that are the same. So if it's a new pink red shirt, you need to wash it with only pinks and reds. If it's a new black shirt, new blue jeans are notorious for ruining clothes. If it's new, it needs to be washed at least two or three times before it can be washed with other colors. And even then, jeans, they continue to kind of make other colors turn blah. So you should divide your clothes into a few things. You should do whites that are white only. You should do light color permanent press, like light fabrics, cottons together. And then you should do darks and dark colors together. And if you have a lot of pinks and reds, I even do a pink and red yeah. batch, okay? Now when you guys do a batch, if it's just little, you do right here and it says small load, okay? If it's a little batch, you just do a small load or express load and it goes really fast, like 15 minutes, it washes it. And I'll let you and your partner that day decide. So like Luke and Paisley are together. So you guys can decide, Luke can be like, hey, can I do mine at, like right when I get home from school and I'll finish up by five and then you can have both washers and dryers or you can say, hey, let's just both take a washer and a dryer and do them at the same time, okay? Can we do that? Too. Yeah, or you could just knock it out really fast yourself, your own stuff, in like an hour and a half and get all your laundry done, and then she comes in and does the other an hour and a half. Does that make sense? Okay, awesome. Do we have a system in place? Yes. Are you excited about this system? Yes. I am so excited for this system. Like, you do not know how long I've tried to get my laundry under control. Okay, that's it. That is the end of our laundry room makeover. Yeah. Woo! I will keep you guys posted about how these guys are doing on their new system. Okay guys, subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. Bye. Bye.